Have you visualized how this fight plays out? Do you knock Tyson Fury out, and which punch will it be? I visualized it for a year and a half. And whoever touch, he goes. In the aftermath to that loss, were there some dark moments? Did you ever question whether you would be in this position again? Whether you would fight again? I knew I would fight. You know, I was very optimistic about the situation. And uh, when you know the truth, the truth shall set you free. So it was never a dark moment for me, only light. You've given your opinion on what happened in the second fight. Do you feel like you really have a point to prove to the world, to the critics? I don't have no point to prove to them because when it comes to Deontay Wilder, it's damn if you do and damn if you don't. Those are the words of Deontay to Bronze Bomber Wilder as he is being interviewed by the um, <clears throat> uh, interview by Sky Sports and shouts out to them. And um, Wilder stated that he has been visualizing his revenge for a very long time. And he says whatever punch he hits him with, he's going to go. So it's safe to say that Deontay Wilder is working on uh, knockouts and <clears throat> in both hands. You know, I know he's been working the left hook to the body, double left hook, right uh, hook to the body, followed with a left hook. I like the right and the left hook because I think he generates more power when he throws the right hand than follows with the left hook. And so I think the follow up left hook, either it's upstairs or downstairs now, I think, especially to the body, <clears throat> I think will be a great asset because I don't think Tyson Fury will see that coming as much as the right hand. Because when you have a fighter that you think you have figured out and you think, OK, watch out for the right, watch out for the right, where then that person turns around and throws a left and right, left, you know, left up a cut left uh, hook. He's giving you more dynamics in there. And actually, those things were hurting uh, and they start bothering you. Those are another weapons you have to worry about. So I think at the end of the day, <clears throat> Deontay Wilder is um, envisioning his revenge. If you look at his face, he's like very uh, monotone and like almost kind of like in a trance. If you look at how he's looking, he's just like, I'm ready for blood. Even when he said, if they asked him any dark places, did he, were you any in any dark places after the defeat? He was like, I was only in the light. I'm like, it doesn't sound like you were in the light, but you know, it just shows you that he is out, definitely out for blood or whatnot. Now, this is something else I want to counterpunch also um, concerning Deontay Wilder. He made a comment. The last comment that he made was, um, you're damned if you do, and you're damned if you don't when it comes to Deontay Wilder. I don't believe that. I don't believe he's damned if he does and he's damned if he don't. I don't believe that at all, and I'm going to tell you why. All Deontay Wilder has to do is go out there and, and achieve his objective. That's all he has to do. He has to make amends from the beating that he took February 22nd. That's all he has to do. <clears throat> and he won't be damned at all. He, if anything, he's going to be praised of overcoming adversity due to huge accusations when it comes to um, the things that he fought it or blamed on Tyson Fury. You know, regardless of that, that itself did not become a distraction like the truth will set you free. What he's talking about is something that he didn't mention in the press conference is the accusations that he said about Tyson Fury, which he didn't bother to mention. But that's a whole different video. But him saying he's damned if he does is damned if he don't. I don't like that because what's that saying is I'm the victim because I'm me. I can't ever do anything right. That's bullshit. If you could never do anything right, you wouldn't be here right now. You wouldn't be in the position that you were in to have the fight with uh, Tyson Fury, the third fight there is. You would have lost that case because nobody would have gave a shit about yours if you was damned if you do and you was damned if you don't. You see what I'm saying? That's bullshit. That's playing me playing the victim. That's all he's doing, and I don't like that. I'm the victim because I'm Deontay Wilder. No, you won your battle outside the ring, so give yourself some credit. Stop pouting. Stop pissing. Stop moaning. Don't do that. 
be happy that you won the case outside the ring and prepare for a war inside the ring. That's what he should be doing. None of this, I'm damned if you do and damned if you don't when it comes to Deontay Wilder. No, you're on a good track, a good streak, a good fresh start. You got your fight, you fought for it, you won that opportunity. So how are you damned if you do and damned if you don't? You see, that makes no sense to me. But I did want to cover that in this segment, and there will be many more segments to this. Stay tuned. You guys tell me what you think about Deontay Wilder saying he's damned if he does and damned if he don't, and he's been waiting for revenge, retaliation. Tell me what you think. Of course, please subscribe, and you guys have been counterpunch. Peace.